بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از پروفیسر ڈاکٹر رضوان جمیل قریشی ویلکم ٹو دا لیکچر نمبر 11 آف سسٹم انالیسس اینڈ ڈیزائن کورس ان لیکچر نمبر 10 آئی کورڈ ٹریڈیشنل اینڈ ماڈرن ریکوائرمنٹ گیدرنگ ٹیکنیکس دیر آر فائیو ٹریڈیشنل اینڈ تھری ماڈرن انٹرویو کوشچنر گروپ انٹرویو آبزرویشن اینڈ اسٹڈی ایگزسٹنگ سسٹم ڈاکومنٹیشن اینڈ تھری ماڈرن دیٹ از پروٹو ٹائپ جے اے ڈی اینڈ جی ایس ایس دا ٹاپک آف ٹوڈیز لیکچر از اباؤٹ پراز اینڈ کانس ایڈوانٹیجز اینڈ ڈس ایڈوانٹیجز آف ریکوائرمنٹ گیدرنگ ٹیکنیکس so i will begin with interview the main advantage of interview technique is you can clear gather clear requirements because of direct interaction with the end users you can note down facial expressions and agreement with the customer in terms of end users they agree on common requirements you can have better relationship with the customer because you are going to have friendly relation with them during the interview sessions main drawbacks or main disadvantages time consuming because you need more time to gather or collect interviews with the top management middle management and lower management people are afraid or scared to answer directly because of victimization or threat of victimization contradiction and inconsistency between different levels of management you need some time follow up discussion that is also time consuming and you need to arrange another interview if you are not clear about some requirements then group interview the main advantage it's a time saving because you can collect different people from different branches and different levels of management at the same time and better agreement or disagreement at the same time disadvantages more difficult to schedule than interview because more people are involved then questionnaire or survey the main advantage of survey it's time saving as compared to interview because you can cover more people by having by distributing the questionnaires disadvantages people normally don't don't take them seriously and they don't fill them seriously sometimes most of the information is vague like you have likert scale 1 to 5 1 means low very low low nominal high and very high so very low to very high and people normally answer nominal average neither on high side neither or nor on low side so that's the main problem and then need extra time to understand the answers if you have open ended questions details of information you cannot query because nobody is available to you direct observation advantages you watch the users to perform their jobs you can obtain first hand information and employees interaction with the information system disadvantage can cause the people to change their normal behavior or operating behavior time consuming and limited time to observe you cannot use as a stand alone technique to gather the requirements then studying system documents it helps to identify formal and informal versions of the system formal that is defined in the documents and formal that is actually practiced main advantages or main problems may involve duplication of effort may have missing procedures may be out of date may contradict information obtained through interview so what you gather in to may contradict is different than what's actually practice or what is not practice that is define the documentation then prototyping is one of the modern techniques prototype helps to validate and collect more requirements 
disadvantages. It cannot be directly practiced without applying one of the traditional techniques. So it's a prerequisite that you must have used one of the traditional techniques. End user may misguide you because you are depending too much on end users to show them prototypes, may misguide you to provide the wrong requirements due to threat of job risk that he is scared or she is scared that if this, the new system is implemented, he, may, he or she may lose his job or her job. No documentation during the prototyping technique. Then joint application design is second model requirement gathering technique. It is better than prototyping because scribe is taking notes, the minutes of meeting, so documentation is involved. Requirements are validated and collected in a much better way as compared to prototyping because prototyping is normally attended by the end users. But in JAD session, key people from the software company side and the customer side both are present. Disadvantages. You cannot use JAD session more than once in the life of the system development because it's very expensive to book a hall at a neutral location and key people from both sides, customer side and software company side must be present. It is normally conducted not more than one to two hours. And some people are more talkative, they, are, they will lead the session. So JD session also cannot be practice without performing one of the traditional techniques, without applying one of the traditional techniques, like the prototyping. Then GSS was introduced to address the limitations of JAD, that key people are present and nobody noticed who is commenting on what requirement because everybody has a terminal in front of him. So there is no chance of victimization and all participants can contribute. There is no threat that talkative people will lead the session. It's more productive than the JAD. GSS, like JAD, you cannot practice more than once in the life of system development. You cannot conduct more than one to two hours because key people are present and one of the traditional techniques must have must be applied before applying the GSS session. These are the main advantages and disadvantages of traditional and the modern requirement gathering techniques. Thank you very much. Jazakallah khair. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum.